MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Tony, thanks for accommodating us today here at Mill CNC. We've obviously come to look at this particular machine, the Puma SMX3100. I believe we'll start with the fact it's won an award. Can you tell us about what it won? This is the Doosan SMX, which is the third generation of Doosan multitasking machines. So this stands for the Super MX. And this has actually won the 2014 Red Duck Design Award. Um, that's for aesthetics, ergonomics. It's, um, yeah, it's, we're not the only people who think it's a good looking machine tool. The third generation of MX machine tool now, which stands for the Super MX. Well, I would have to agree, it is a very aesthetically pleasing machine, Tony. Yeah. But we want to go beyond the aesthetics today, so we want to yeah. drill into the detail of the technicalities behind this machine. Mm -hmm. Very briefly, can we just touch on the capacity, so what sort of chuck size and so forth? Well, this is a 3100 machine tool. Um, this has got a 12 stroke 15 inch chuck. It comes in a smaller model, which is a 2600, which takes a 10 stroke 12 inch chuck. Um, obviously, you can also have a second spindle as well. This has got a tower stock this particular model has, but you can also have a second spindle, which again, same size chucks respectively. Um, bar capacity, either three inch or four inch bar capacity. And, and so who's going to use it? Who's going to come here to Mill CNC, look at this machine and go, that's perfect for what I need? High value parts, generally turned, milled, multifaceted, multi-features. Um, it tends to be higher value parts, basically, um, with, as you say, turned and bored. Okay, now I've, I've done my homework before coming here. I've had a read yeah. of the brochure yeah. uh, online, I should say. And one of the things that's jumped out to me is, is this doesn't actually use a compound. Uh, you've actually got, it's not a compound design, it's an orthogonal. What, explain that to me. This is the main new feature on the new Super MX, basically, is that the old MX model, which was introduced in about the year 2000, had what was called a compound slide. And effectively, the compound slide is two slides that work together to give you the y-axis movement. Now, the downside of that is that on the negative and the positive, you can run out of x-axis stroke. It's also more susceptible to thermal growth because you've got two slides. An orthogonal slide is literally just a perpendicular slide. It's a ram in and out. It gives you a larger stroke and less chance of inaccuracies as well. So does that mean that you've got more capacity in the y-axis? Yes, this is 300 millimetres compared to the old model of 230 millimetres. Okay, and you also touched on thermal compensation. Again, yes. for our viewers, how important is that on a machine like this? Well, that's massive on a machine like this because if you can imagine, that's all right with a milling tool on there, but when you tool change a turning tool into there, any thermal growth from that spindle, when you come to turn a diameter, you double the error on the diameter. If, it's that, if that's grown by 10 microns, when you turn a diameter, you've grown by 20 microns, because that's radial. So thermal growth on a mill turn machine is very, very important. And, and would I be right in thinking that with a machine like this, you're going to have longer cycle times, therefore there's more opportunity to bring thermal growth into the equation? I think, I think that's a good assumption. I think generally, you know, on a standard lathe, you've got a turret with 12 tools. This has got an 80 tool station magazine. So I think generally the parts that you are machining, they tend to be more aerospace, motorsport, higher added value that would normally go through various processes, a lathe, a mill, a boring machine. It's all done in one. You mentioned tool changer, 80 station. What's the, is it Capto? Yeah, this is Capto C6. Um, you can have a HSK option, HSK 63, but this particular variant and our UK standard option is to bring in some of the Capto C6. And what's the benefit of the Capto? Well, Capto is probably the best range of multitasking tools on the market. And um, it's uh, a very rigid, it's face and taper contact, locates on the, yeah, so just an accurate way of doing it really. So what about the spindles on this machine then, Tony? I read that they're direct drive. Is that all of them, including the B-axis? That's correct. The B-axis is a built-in spindle motor. Also, the main turning spindle is a built-in spindle motor. If you have the optional sub-spindle, it's also built in. They're all oil-cooled and have all got thermal sensing on them. Again, going back to what we said earlier on for thermal stability. OK, and if someone didn't know what the benefits of a direct drive spindle were, what, what would you say? 
Well, effectively, I mean, there's, there's a couple of benefits. One is that generally you get higher torque. You've got faster response time because you're not going through a gear train. You're not going through a gear train or a belt and pulley. Um, it's directly coupled to the motor. So effectively, the spindle is the armature of the motor. The downside is that's where the heat comes from. So that's why it has to be oil cooled and thermal compensation. So there's six sensors all over this machine tool, which via an algorithm are monitored and then the machine makes its own adjustments then to keep the accuracies within the machine tool. Okay, so that's the spindle. So then the actual movement of the machine, the axes moving around, is it on roller guideways? Yes, all axes run on linear motion guideways. So they're what they call super precision class. So they're high accuracy guideways. Um, the actual x-axis guideway is oil cooled as well. So the actual ball nut is oil cooled by the uh, oil cooler. And um, that means rapid rates have been increased on the new Super MX as well to 48 metres a minute. Because they used to be box guideway machines from memory. Correct. The old, uh, if you like, first generation MX machines were on box guideways, which from a rigidity point of view is very good. But these machines tend to be more about production, uh, you know, reducing non-cutting time. So the linear guideway is the way to go. And, and with linear guides, you can take maybe smaller cuts, but a lot more of them in a, in a, in a faster cycle time. Yeah, the linear guideways, yeah, I mean, generally, linears don't tend to have the same vibration dampening characteristics, but again, really, on a high-precision machine like this, we're not generally talking about a big, heavy forging that you've got to take the scale off it. So, you know, for the sort of work that it does, linear guideway is precision. I want to explore the B-axis head a bit more again, Tony. Yeah. What can it do? Can it do five-axis machining? Yeah, the, this, this particular machine has full five-axis simultaneous. The head runs off a roller cam. So effectively what that means is rather than a worm and wheel where you can have backlash, a roller cam, it's actually roller bearings in between the actual cam. So it's a backlash free movement. So from a contouring point of view, it's very smooth. It's very accurate. Um, so yes, this machine is a full five axis contouring machine tool. Okay, that's great, Tony. We've explored the machine in great detail. What I'd like to do now is, is, is put you on the spot a bit and ask you why is this gonna be my machine of choice? Well, obviously, this is our third generation of uh, Milter machines. So, you know, it's, we've got a lot of vast experience selling multitasking machine tools. We've been selling them since uh, the year 2000. The Super MX is a new model. There's a lot of features and benefits that uh, outdo the competition. It's got the largest Y axis in class at 300 millimeters, which is, again, for a lot of people that are looking at this style of machine, is very important. A lot of companies want a FANUC control. Um, again, FANUC is still the largest spiral control systems in the world. And generally, people come to mills because they want the mills after sale support. And um, whether it's training, servicing, it's the mills package that make people come back time after time. Tony, it's been brilliant reviewing this machine. It's been a real education to me and to hopefully our viewers. So I thank you for your time. No, Paul, thanks for coming to mills today. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.